So, in this video I'm for once not drawing superheroes or villains or something like that. I'm drawing a horse because someone was of the opinion that it would be nice if I draw a horse. <laughs> and for now I'm not really interested in learn learning how to uh, draw horses freehand, so I just used the grid method to get a rather accurate sketch of the reference image. And then I basically started with the black colors like I always do, the darkest colors. I like to do this to establish a value range so that everything I draw afterwards is basically between the black and the white of the paper. So I know firsthand what the darkest parts of the image are, which are basically these leather things. And what I did is just using black as a local color and some dark gray tones for the highlights, which are basically just reflections of the sky. That's pretty much all there is to it for drawing these leather things. Then I started with the brown colors of the fur and I realized quickly that it's pretty much impossible to draw accurate fur at this size of the image. So I just focused on the shading and getting the colors right and which are basically, uh, what I basically did here is I started with a brown color using light pressure then I went above it with uh, a yellowish tone and then once again with a brown tone and for the dark parts I used an even darker brown tone and black and a 90% cool grey all Prismacolor uh, colored pencils by the way so what I just described is basically the layering method where you layer some colors above each other to achieve a certain tone you're looking for and I have to say I can't really recommend you to layer more than two or three colors above each other because what ends up happening is that the paper doesn't really pick up the pigment that well anymore and you kind of end up smearing it all around and well it doesn't look that clean anymore maybe it differs from paper to paper I don't know I just use standard printing paper right here well and I wouldn't really layer it more than two or three colors above each other also you have to be careful if you work like me if you start with the uh, black colors and you have a sharp edge and try to draw the brown color beside it you have to be careful because it can happen that the brown picks up some of the pigment of the black color and kind of smears it around it doesn't really matter that much uh, at a normal viewing distance, I suppose, but just keep that in mind. So, that's basically it for this image, and if you like this, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, or don't, and goodbye.